Hi guys, it's Sunday. I've already done a video, but I it had a special purpose and it was short, okay? Actually six minutes and something, but that's short because <laughs> I tend to be long-winded. Um, I'm gonna continue on. This is gonna be Mormon chapter five. Okay, there's 24 verses. First, I'm gonna read the synopsis so you know what's coming. And if you've been following my stuff, you already know what's coming. War, war and carnage, bloodshed, bad stuff. But it is part of the history and it's the ending of this part of the book. Like I said, I don't have all my chronological stuff done like that. I did remember the Jaredites, they were from the time of the Tower of Babel. So I have a feeling that was a way long time before these guys, okay? The Tower of Babel where everybody was trying to build a tower to heaven and, and then God confounded the languages so nobody could communicate with each other. Well, Jared, I believe, was the leader of the Jaredites. That would make sense, wouldn't it? The followers of Jared, Jaredites. Well, if my memory serves me right, and I think partially it does, because I don't remember everything. <clears throat> the brother of Jared was a righteous person. And so Jared, who led the people, probably was king. I don't know if, if they had kings, but anyway, he was a leader. And um, he would go to his brother and ask his brother to pray for them, because he knew his brother had, had good relations with the Lord, you know, whereas he did not. And I don't know, I have to go back and read all that. So sometime soon, we'll read that, okay? But right now I just gotta get through Mormon. <laughs> but it's short compared to a lot. And then the, the scriptures, the verses that are inside this chapter, there's not that many, 24 is not bad. So bear with me. I don't read perfect, but I try awful hard. <clears throat> so here's the synopsis, okay? It says, Mormon again leads the Nephite armies in, in battle of blood and carnage. The Book of Mormon will come forth to convince all Israel that Jesus is the Christ. Because of their unbelief, the Lamanites will be scattered and the spirit will cease to strive with them. They will receive the gospel from the Gentiles in the latter days. This was about A.D. 375 to 384, okay? So, these are the last days. I, I, if you're reading all my stuff and following it, you know that. The name of our church, you know, the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. We're all trying to be like Jesus, and in so being, you really are becoming a saint. <laughs> Maybe not with sainthood, but you know what I mean. Latter-day Saints compared to the rest of the world. There's Latter-day Saints and Latter-day Aints. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to start reading. And that's hurting my arm, so i got to move that. Okay. They've got this metal table out here that's got a grade on it. And it I lean on it, and it goes right through my arm. And I've got a, a quilt all folded up on the chair because there's no cushion. And because it was putting a grade across my butt. <laughs> Okay, that's enough of that. Anyway, I don't need to be disfigured by this table and chairs. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and just start reading, okay? And you already kind of know what's coming. Because we've already been through four of this stuff. Same thing. And it came to pass that I did go forth among the Nephites and did repent. And did repent of the oath which I had made that I would no more assist them. And they gave me command again of their armies. For they looked upon me as though I could deliver them from their afflictions. So this is Mormon talking, okay? I, I was didn't know that in the very beginning. For some reason I lost myself. Okay. But behold, I was without hope. For I knew the judgments of the Lord, which should come upon them. For they repented not of their iniquities, but did struggle for their lives without calling upon that being who created them. Weird hair there. Okay. 
And it came to pass that the Lamanites did come against us as we had fled to the city of Jordan. But behold, they were driven back that they did not take the city at that time. And it came to pass that they came against us again, and we did maintain the city. And there were also other cities which were maintained by the Nephites, which strongholds did cut them off that they could not get into the country, which lay before us to destroy the inhabitants of our land. But it came to pass that whosoever, excuse me, I did that wrong. It came to pass that whatsoever lands we had passed by and the inhabitants thereof were not gathered in, were destroyed by the Lamanites, and their towns and villages and cities were burned with fire. And thus 370 and nine years had passed away. Passed away, I added a word. And it came to pass that in the 308th year, the Lamanites did come against, come again against us to battle. And we did uh, stand against them boldly, but it was all in vain. For so great were their numbers that they did treat the people of the Nephites under their feet. That must be tread. That was tread. <laughs> Maybe I better read that one again. Let me just read this verse again. And it came to pass that in the 308th year, the Lamanites did come again against us to battle. And we did stand against them boldly, but it was all in vain. For so great were their numbers that they did tread the people of the, of the Nephites under their feet. So sad. And it came to pass that we did again take to flight. And those who, whose flight was swifter than the Lamanites did escape. And those whose flight did not exceed the Lamanites were swept down and destroyed. And now behold, I, Mormon, do not desire to harrow up the souls of men in casting them and casting before them such an awful scene of blood and carnage as was laid before mine eyes. But I, knowing that these things must surely be made known, and that all things which are hid must be revealed upon the housetops. And also that a knowledge of these things must come unto the remnant of these people. Dadgummit, where was I? I touched the screen and lost my stuff. Okay, maybe I was right here. All right, I know I'm going to read over something I've already read, but it'll be okay. I'm going to start on four. I have a feeling I've already done four. So I'm going to do it again. And it came to pass that they came against us again, and we did maintain the city. And there were also other cities which were maintained by the Nephites, which strongholds did cut them off that they could not get into the country which lay before us to destroy the inhabitants of our land. But it came to pass that whatsoever lands we had passed by and the inhabitants thereof were not gathered in, were destroyed by the Lamanites and their towns and villages and cities were burned with fire. And thus 379 years passed away. And it came to pass that in the 380th year, the Lamanites did come against us Okay, wait a minute. The Lamanites did come again against us to battle, and we did stand against them boldly. Excuse me. But it was all in vain, for so great were their numbers that they did tread the people of the Nephites under their feet. And it came to pass that we did again take flight, and those whose flight was swifter than the Lamanites did escape, and those whose flight did not exceed the Lamanites, were swept down and destroyed. And now, behold, I, Mormon, do not desire to harrow up the souls of men in casting before them such an awful scene of blood and carnage as was laid before mine eyes. But I, 
knowing these things must surely be made known and that all things which are hid must be revealed upon the housetops. Ow. And also that a number, let's see, I'm putting words in here. I'm gonna stop that. Okay. <laughs> you guys should read along with me. Keep me honest here. But I want to be honest because I, I want to understand and I want you guys to understand too. And a word can change a meaning. So it's important. That pondering thing, make sure you're reading it correct. Okay, so, and also that a knowledge of these things must come unto the remnant of these people and also unto the Gentiles, who the Lord hath said should scatter his, this people and this people should be counted as naught among them. Therefore, I write a small abridgment, daring not to give a full account of the things which I have seen because of the commandment which I have received, and also that ye might not have too great sorrow because of the wickedness of this people. And now behold, this I speak unto their seed, and also to the Gentiles who have care, have care for the house of Israel that realize and know from whence their blessings come. For I know that such will sorrow for the calamity of the house of Israel. Yea, they will sorrow for the destruction of this people. They will sorrow that this people had not repented, that they might have been clasped, clasped in the arms of Jesus. I can't talk very well, but you know what I mean. He wanted to put his arms around them. Now, these things are written unto the remnant of the house of Jacob, and they are written after this manner, because it is known of God that wickedness will not bring them forth unto them, and they are to be hid up unto the Lord, that they may come forth in his own due time. And this is the commandment which I have received, and behold, they shall come forth according to the commandment of the Lord, when he shall see fit in his wisdom. And behold, they shall go unto the unbelieving of the Jews, and for this intent shall they go, that they may be persuaded that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of the living God, that the Father may bring about through his most beloved his great and eternal purpose in restoring the Jews or all the house of Israel to the land of their inheritance, which the Lord their God hath given them unto the fulfilling of his covenant. And also that the seed of this people may more fully believe his gospel, which shall go forth unto them from the Gentiles. For this people shall be scattered and shall become a dark, a filthy and loathsome people. Loathsome. Okay, I have a hard time with no teeth saying that word, but you know what it means? Loathe. I loathe you. It's worse than despise and despicable and all that stuff. And disgust, who knows? Um, now I've lost myself. And loathsome people beyond the description of that which ever hath been amongst us, <clears throat> yea, even that which hath been among the Lamanites, and this because of their unbelief and idolatry. For behold, the spirits of the Lord hath already ceased to strive with their fathers and they are without Christ and God in the world. And they are driven about as chaff about, let's see, okay, I'm gonna have to say that. And they are driven about as chaff before the wind. They were once a delightsome people, and they had Christ for their shepherd. Yea, they were led even by God the Father. But behold, I oh, did it wrong. But now, behold, they are led about by Satan, even as chaff is driven before the wind. 
or a vessel is tossed about upon the waves without sail or anchor and without anything wherewith to steer her. And even as she is, so are they. And behold, the Lord hath res reserved, I gotta start again. And behold, the Lord hath reserved their blessings, which they might have received in the land for the Gentiles who shall possess the land. <clears throat> but behold, it shall come to pass that they shall be driven and scattered by the Gentiles. And after they have been driven and scattered by the Gentiles, behold, then will the Lord remember the covenant which he made unto Abraham and unto all the house of Israel. And also the Lord will remember the prayers of the righteous which have been put up unto him for them. And then, O ye Gentiles, how can ye stand before the power of God, except ye shall repent and turn from your evil ways? Know ye not that ye are in the hands of God? <clears throat> know ye not that he hath all power? And at his great command, the earth shall be rolled together as a scroll. Therefore repent ye and humble yourselves before him, lest he shall come out in justice against you, lest a remnant of the seed of Jacob shall be shall go forth among you as a lion and tear you in pieces, and there is none to deliver. Well that didn't sound too good, did it? Maybe I should read that one again. So there's this little warning here, you know. You either come into me or, you know, you got problems. <laughs> and it says, Therefore repent ye, and humble yourselves before him, lest he shall come out in justice against you. <clears throat> Lest a remnant of the seed of Jacob shall go forth among you as a lion and tear you in pieces, and there is none to deliver to deliver okay that's the end of that and i don't know that i really need to discuss all that it's a lot to get through but it's pretty pretty good though i'd say that'd be pretty good motivation to try and live your life right and come unto christ huh <laughs> just a warning just a warning guys Hopefully you're not so far gone that you can't take a warning and come back. And it's not really come back if you've never been, right? But God loves you. And there's a lot to learn. So much to learn. And so much love to be had. Fellowshipping is love. You know, even if you don't have your mate, if you can have love from the people around you, that's pretty good. Everybody helps everybody. Yeah, but that, that church is made up of people. So please remember that. Human beings. And everybody's at different levels. So everybody doesn't really know what all there is to know. Now, I don't know all there is to know, but I know a heck of a lot. And so I want to share, okay? It's time to share before I go back home. But I think I'm going to stick around. I don't think I'm going anywhere. It's too much to live for. So, oh, happy day. <laughs> I know, I was saying that the other day, and then I started talking about baptism. Um, but it's true, oh, happy day when Jesus washed my sins away. I mean, really, what a wonderful, wonderful gift that is. You think about it, you know, especially you people out there that would really like to start over a new slate, a clean slate. God will give it to you. Okay. Love you guys. I'm out of here. Okay. Peace be with you. Even in times of war.